Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. How are you doing? Hope you're doing amazing. Let's see what's unfolding for you for the remainder of November 2021 regarding love and romance. Spirit guides, ancestors, what are the messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is it that they need to know what is unfolding before them? Please give me the card to represent the energy of Gemini for the remainder of this month. The card that represents their partner, person of interest, and what is unfolding. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. Oh, we got cards falling out already. Give me one second. All right, Gemini, your first card here is the Hermit card. The card to represent your partner or person of interest is the Justice card. We have Five of Pentacles, Chariot card, and the Four of Cups. Okay. Partner is the Six of Wands, Ace of Cups, sorry, Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Okay. All right. So, Gemini, I see you guys being the remainder of this month. I see you guys internalizing a lot. Uh, this could be you wanting to draw back your energy. This can also represent um, not necessarily being uh, very outgoing or wanting to be around friends, loved ones. Um, I see you guys being more trying to recharge your energy, trying to recharge your batteries. For some of you guys, you may be experiencing a situation where there's some type of uh, some type of understanding that you're trying to get to in regards to this connection. Um, I see you guys again internalizing, um, but this can also be you wanting to get clarity exactly on where this relationship or this connection is going. The five of pentacles does indicate to me uh, feeling a bit neglected, feeling a bit um, for some of you guys, there could be like no communication. There could have been some type of falling out or just feeling like both you and your partner are in completely different um wavelengths at the present time like not being on the same page there is a feeling here of neglect there's a feeling of wanting to feel acknowledged um and i feel like it's almost like you've tried to either communicate this to your partner or get your message across and it hasn't been um you know openly received uh chariot does indicate quick movement i want to say at the end of november there's going to be movement in regards to this situation where you feel stuck right now where you feel like for some of you guys this could be debating whether you should continue putting effort in this connection or should you draw back your energy what spirit is telling you is bring it back to you with the chariot card be empowered um don't go chasing don't don't go double texting if they're not communicating with you at the moment they will be communicating but what they're telling you here is almost like don't give up your energy or your power so easily, Gemini. It is important for you to um, uh, realize that the more we try to connect or the more we try to chase someone, it's almost like they feel this energy of, you know, I don't want to say desperation, but almost this feeling of uh, the desire or want to hear from them. And it kind of pushes them further. So again, what Spirit is telling you is, by the end of November, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to know exactly what to do in regards to this situation. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been solely putting your effort and energy in this connection that you've kind of forgotten about the opportunities that you have uh, at your disposal, whether this is people that are trying to get your attention or people that will be coming towards you or being introduced to you at the end or close to the end of November. The Four of Cups does indicate um, kind of losing interest in regards to the situation. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this could be because you've put in enough effort. You've, you've done what you've had to do. And at this point, it's like, okay, I'm going to bring it back. It's going to be about me now. And I'm going to focus on uh, making sure that I'm good and that I find mental peace. And again, I do see some type of rejection that you're going to be doing or you will be making in the end of this month. So if you were dealing with a partner or a person um, that just hasn't been as available or as present in the connection. I do see them coming back around. However, I feel like you're going to be very, um, 
almost nonchalant about it, um, being a little bit cold or distant. And it's only because you're focusing or putting your energy back on yourself, Gemini. Now, the person of your interest does have the justice card here. So you may be dealing with a Libra. You may also be dealing with, again, a situation where they felt like they had the upper hand uh, in this connection. This could be a person that is uh, known for liking or getting a lot of attention. And with the Ace of Pentacles, I see that at some point there's going to be almost this grounding um, energy, almost like a, a kind of a shake that they're going to be going through where they're going to realize um, the lack of support or the lack of communication that there's been between you two. And I do see them coming towards you wanting to stabilize or wanting to prove something to you, whether it's wanting to prove that they want you in their life or whether it's putting actual effort in this connection. However, like I said, I do see a lot of you guys um, getting to the point of being like mentally checked out or uh, some type of rejection that will take place here. Could be that you allow them or want them to chase you a little bit, um, but there is a feeling of uh, being pulled towards the side or being ignored. Um, and I feel like you've gotten to the point of that where now you feel like it's, it's about you, Gemini. So for this month, I do see opportunities coming your way. I do see the stabilization of this connection for those of you guys that have been having trouble with communication. However, what Spirit is telling you is uh, make yourself a priority and make sure that you are uh, where your mental peace is at, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.